August 27. The Sacrifice of Praise Serve the Lord with gladness, come before His presence with singing. Psalm 102 Let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, the fruit of lips which make confession to His name. Hebrews 13:15. The hundredth psalm is rightly entitled a psalm of thanksgiving. The psalmist calls for a joyful noise, i.e. an audible expression of worship. Do not be content with a thankful heart, but express it. It is good to let God have the fruit of our lips. As a bird will awaken the whole choir of a woodland glade, so the soul really aglow with loving adoration will spread its own contagion of song. How often Christian people hinder the progress of Christianity by their dullness, gloominess, and depression. His service is perfect freedom, and if we delight ourselves in the Lord, we should serve Him with gladness. It is very important to maintain the habit of regular church going because of its opportunity for worship. Let us enter into His gates with thanksgiving, and into His courts with praise. By meditation and prayer let us ask that we may be accounted worthy to stand in His presence, and offer praise and adoration to the Most High God, mingled with the fragrance of our Savior's name. The Lord is good. There are many mysteries, and much pain and sorrow in the world. We must dare to believe and affirm the goodness of God beneath all the distressing elements of modem life. With His goodness are combined His mercy and His truth. Let men do their worst, His truth endureth to all generations. It is an impregnable rock, on which the waves of sin can make no sensible impression. What comfort there is in knowing that equally His mercy is everlasting. We need so much patience, forbearance, and long-suffering, that if God's mercy were anything less we should despair, but it is extended to every generation till time shall be no more. Prayer Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Amen.